Right, you can see that Windows is starting. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give it a time. I'm gonna pause the video here and see when I get to the desktop. I will start the resume the video. All right, so the Windows uh, restarted one more time. It uh, setting the system up for the first use and. I have a password I'm gonna give it a password and you can see that it basically got all of my uh, uh, Wi-Fi networks available in the area it's asking me to pick one of them I'm gonna skip it because I'm already hardwired I'm gonna put go with the work network and it's setting it up so it's preparing the desktop for the first use uh, I'm gonna when I'm at the desktop I'm gonna resume again all right so I have my desktop it seems a little bit bigger I'm gonna go through with some settings but I wanted to show you that I have a desktop here I'm gonna go tweak it a little bit and a little bit and then I'm gonna show you how to I'm gonna join this computer to um, our active directory all right, so resolution looks much better. Now we're gonna try to join this computer uh, to our domain. For that, um, we, we need to change the computer uh, settings. But before that, let's go and fire up the server over there so we can they can talk. So you can see the server is up uh, and there's only one Windows 7 PC. That's actually our virtual machine. The other one is Windows 10, another virtual machine. So that laptop is actually a physical and its name is Imran PC. It should show up once I go and add the uh, Active Directory, uh, add the domain to it, like make it a part of a domain. Uh, we might have to uh, enter the that IPv4 address as a DNS uh, for it to work over there, but we're gonna see if it asks for it not. So just in case if it uh, doesn't work, then we have we're gonna put the IPv4 address over there you know, on the laptop. So we're gonna click on change setting here here, then change it's to all you know all that. So if I put my domain name, it should ask for a. If it finds it it's gonna give me a login screen but it did not so again we have to go and change the IPv4 address as I said uh, so for that I'm gonna go to the network and settings Let's see. I'm gonna pause it all right so all you have to do is you click here and click on your uh, network and sharing center you click on local area network then you click the properties and then you go to your IPv4 address and you have to give it the DNS one for DNS it was 192 168 dot I believe it was 1.147 and for the internet we, we can like this close out everything uh, for the internet we might have to if it there's a yellow uh, no it has internet access so we don't have to worry about the DNS or we can go back to right click properties change setting I'm trying to make it uh, work because I have only six minutes of recording and the main box so now if it is oh it gave me the um, username and password so I'm gonna use my name and I'm gonna enter my password so I entered my username and password it's restarting let's go to the server and see what's going on over there so this is my active directory domain I'm gonna refresh it 
must be this one so you see Imran PC that laptop appeared here so now that use uh, uh, that laptop is a part of the domain and that PC is all automatically added uh, and once that computer comes back I will show you that it is actually I can actually log in with the uh, any of the uh, usernames so if you remember I added this account so I'm gonna use some other account uh, let's say Donald Trump we can we can add login with Donald so it's asking me to press this to log in and it's not giving me the normal login screen I'm gonna do that all right so you can see that I'm trying to log in with the uh, domain another domain account and see if it uh, works it did not give me the error message so it took it and it's preparing the desktop so if you can see that I am using the um, domain account and you can see that I am connected to imran.local but no internet access so for internet access I have to modify the DNS server so it can go uh, for the domain name uh, online one uh, or I have to configure the server for the domain naming on all that alright so this computer is now connected to our domain and we installed the windows 7 over the network thank you for watching please share comment and subscribe